question three then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Mathematics of Mechanics. Three mark question. Vectors. It's almost annoying when you see it in this form here of, oh no, what we've given is the vectors in the form of a linear combination of the base vectors. So in answering this question, do we have to keep replicating them in this form when we write down the vector equations? Well, looking at the marking scheme, they've gone for the component form. So I think I'll just stick to the component form without any penalty, I hope, here. Because all it says is, there's this constant force of that magnitude and direction. Acting on a force, acting on a particle as it moves from a point A to a point B given by these position vectors. So there's a point A, there's a point B, and as A moves to B, some force not acting in the same direction, some force acts upon it. What's the work done? Well, work done is force times distance in one dimension. In two dimensions, the work done will be the scalar product of the force times the displacement, however we wish to call the displacement, R or an S or a D. In the marking scheme we're going for D, so I think I'll just use D as a vector, of course, for the displacement. So the first step would be, what is the displacement? Well, the displacement would be, put them into, would be B minus A, which is 6, 4, take away negative 3, 1, so that comes to 9, 3. Now, that was a mark, and in the mark scheme, the mark was for writing it this way, not for having to say, oh, D equals 9I plus 3J metres, although maybe I should put metres in here. And then for the work done, the work done will be F dot D, so that would be 2, 3 dot, as in the scalar product, 9, 3, which would be 2 times the 9, which is 18, plus 3 times the 3, which is 9, which then comes to 27 joules. So the next mark was for putting it into the formula in more than one dimension, the scalar product, in other words, and substituting the values in. And the last mark was for doing this wee bit of arithmetic evaluating the scalar product. And that's basically it. Just putting the vectors in component form, rather than having to foot it about with, you know, this part here would then have to be, oh, what's f dot d? That would be 2i plus 3j dot 9i plus 3j, etc. Hopefully, reason prevails and you can just keep it that way as shown in the marking scheme. So, where you go, where you go. Andrew.